I've known uh, BD Barcelona since the late 80s or early 90s. I was a student of design then and at the time Spanish design had a real renaissance or um, it just seemed to have popped up on the map. That drew my attention to the country and I traveled here. I discovered a lot of things amongst those BD Barcelona, this company which had an incredible facility to mix old and new and something quite artisanal with uh, very industrial things. So many years later, uh, when BD got in touch with me, it seemed so clear to me that I wanted to make some kind of reference to that history of the company that I liked so much. I wanted to, to work with aluminium extrusions on a collection. So I proposed making just a big table, like an aeroplane wing. When you see the table in the large dimensions, up to almost six meters in length, it is something that the eye and the eye with the brain doesn't understand. How can it work? Having done the table, it was obvious that if you have a table, you need chairs. So uh, that, was, that became the next project. But instead of um, doing a chair in aluminium because of the extrusion theme, um, we opted for a chair in wood with one extruded element. It's the kind of the technical spine of the chair, but quite invisible. Um, a piece of tube. It's a wooden chair um, that is a classical form, the horseshoe half round back and a, a structure that is folding but only the seat is folding. Um, so it's a chair that we can, that can be quite economical in terms of the space it takes. After the chair, we wanted to find a new territory and I think we discussed upholstery as a possible theme. And from the upholstery, uh, we conceived the idea of a bench. So, started working on the bench as a family of elements uh, from very short, uh, like one-seater side chair, to a long bench up to six meters. The bench can be for indoor or outdoor, it can have arms or not, it can be upholstered or left pure aluminium. I think we have a, um, created a kit of parts which can be turned into very different typologies or uses of this bench. What is interesting in this bench is that it makes a reference to a very famous piece of furniture uh, which is called the Barcelona chair. I think it's interesting to make these references in design. Design is not about inventing new things all the time. Design is an evolution of things. So this famous chair designed by Mies van der Rohe, we pick it up now so many years later and, and, and make it in a, in a completely different way in terms of technology but also turning it into, into a more systematic product. <laughs> 